Hi, I'm Matt. And welcome to this video on calculating the expansion of the universe, calculating Hubble's constant um, using type 1a supernova events. So as we looked at earlier, uh, these are the supernovas that we looked at, all collected from the Fawkes Telescope South, which is located at Siding Spring Observatory in Coonabarabran. And the type of data we collected is both the redshift, which we then used this Excel spreadsheet to tell us what is the radial velocity, as well as the apparent magnitude. So how bright was that supernova event as viewed from Earth? Um, the Excel spreadsheet then used the distance modulus using the apparent magnitude to, sorry, the maximum apparent magnitude to calculate the distance to the supernova event in both parsecs and megaparsecs. So to insert our graph, we're going to go insert and we're going to click on XY scatter plot and a scatter plot without lines. And so Excel has sort of thought it knew what we wanted to graph. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to change all the data that Excel has selected there. So you just want to move your chart underneath your data. So you can sort of work on and see them both at the same time. Then you want to go select data. We want to pull out all the data that it's thought it's needed. And we're going to go add some series. So we're going to call this graph finding Hubble's constant. And so our x values, the values that go across the bottom there, are going to be distance in megaparsecs. So we're just going to highlight those cells and press enter. And the y values are going to be radial velocity, um, which is how fast it's moving away from us in kilometers per second. We're going to highlight them and press enter. So there you go. We've actually got our chart, um, and it looks pretty good. And we're going to change this so we can actually get some more information out of it. So the first thing we're going to do is change the design of it. Um, I just like it in black there. I think that the contrast looks better. And the first thing, obviously, we're going to put some axes titles on. The horizontal axis was distance in megaparsecs, which is MPC. So that's millions of parsecs. And the vertical axis was radial velocity, and the units for that were kilometers per second. So you can see we've got how fast it's moving away from us versus how far it is away from us. So if we add a trend line here, if we right click on the data and click add trend line, we get the trend line appearing. And the next thing we want to do is actually change this trend line. So on the right hand side here, you've got format trend line. And one of the options we want to click is set intercept to zero, zero. It's going to go through the origin. And we also want to click on display equation on chart. And so since we've done that, you can see that the equation is y equals 70. So y equals 50.709x. So whatever the y value is, if you, um, sorry, whatever the x value is, if you times that by 50, you get the y value. Another better way to think about this is that the gradient of this line is the rise over the run, which the rise is in kilometers per second and the run is in megaparsecs. And so the units for the gradient are actually kilometers per second per megaparsec. So what we've found here is the universe is expanding at 50 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So obviously the further you are away, the greater your recessional velocity. Um, so that was pretty cool. I hope you've enjoyed that and seen how you can collect data from type 1a supernova events, plot that on a graph with radial velocity versus distance, radial velocity on the y-axis, distance on the x, adding your trend line, formatting your trend line to go through the origin, and then adding the equation onto the chart. So join me in our next video as I look at this number here, um, which is a little bit below the accepted value for Hubble's constant, which is expected because we only plotted um, a few supernova events. I believe we did about 10 supernova events. But we can actually use this number to estimate the age of the universe. Cool. Thanks for watching.